that's what we need to be careful about with going into debt for those pleasurable things. And most of the time people do it because they can't wait, right? They're financing because they want it now and they're not patient enough to save for it. Yeah. And I like to, I kind of flip this a little bit to make it more enjoyable to save up for something. So rather than calling it delayed gratification, because that just sounds boring and nobody wants to do that. I call it prolonged pleasure. And I know we've mentioned this mm -hmm. uh, at least in at least in one other episode. I think it was the one on I think it was the badass retirement one. Rather than thinking of it as delayed gratification, I like to think of it as prolonged pleasure. And so I make it very exciting to wait, almost like a kid at Christmas as I'm saving things up you know, saving money up for something. I've got a picture of it on my vision board. I'm excited to see the savings balance grow. I might look at it online. I might think about how it's going to feel to have it. By the time I get it, it's much more satisfying, right? To pay that cash for it. It's a hundred percent yours, right? Yep. And I think that's the other thing too. When you have a loan on something, it's not a hundred percent yours. It's the bank's, right? Yep, <laughs> I mean, depending on how much how much you've paid it off, right? If if you still owe the bank fifty percent of it, then that boat is fifty percent the bank's, and that's just not as fun. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna go and take on some debt, you just want to be careful, make sure it's debt with a purpose, and decide how much debt you can comfortably handle without feeling financially stressed or emotionally stressed. That's really the bottom line here.